you ever wonder why some people are rich and some are poor? Do you think it's just a matter of luck, talent, or inheritance? Or do you think there are some habits and behaviors that separate the wealthy from the broke? If you answer the yes to the last question, you are right. There are indeed some things poor people do that the rich don't, and vice versa. These things have huge impact on their financial situation, mindset, and lifestyle. In this video, we we'll review 10 things that poor people do that the rich don't, and how you can change them to improve your chances of becoming wealthy. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Let's get started. Poor people spend more than they earn. The first thing poor people do that the rich don't is spending more than they earn. They live beyond their means without saving or investing any money for the future. They often rely on credit cards, loans, or other forms of debt to finance their lifestyle. They buy things they don't need or can't afford just to impress others or feel good about themselves. Rich people, on the other hand, spend less than they earn. They live below their means and save and invest a portion of their income for the long term. They avoid debt as much as possible and only use it for productive purposes such as starting or growing a business. They buy things that add value to their lives or generate income for them. The first step to change this habit is to track your income and expenses. You need to know where your money is coming from and where it is going. You can use apps, spreadsheets, or journals to record your financial transactions. Then you need to create a realistic budget that covers your essential needs and goals. You need to prioritize paying off your high interest debts, saving an emergency fund, and investing for retirement. You also need to cut down on unnecessary expenses such as eating out, shopping, or entertainment. You need to live below your means and increase your income if possible. Poor people have a scarcity mindset. The second thing that poor people do that the rich don't is having a scarcity mindset. They believe that there is not enough money, opportunities or resources for everyone. They think that money is hard to make and easy to lose. They fear losing what they have or missing out on what they want. They are always competing with others for a slice of the pie. Rich people have an abundant mindset. They believe that there is more than enough money, opportunities and resources for everyone. They think that money is easy to make and hard to lose. They are confident in their ability to create value and attract wealth. They are always collaborating with others for a bigger pie. The second step to change this habit is to change your beliefs about money and wealth. You need to realize that money is just a tool that reflects the value you provide to others. You need to understand that there are countless ways to make money and create wealth in today's world. You need to adopt a positive attitude towards money and wealth and be grateful for what you have and what you can achieve. You also need to surround yourself with people who have an abundance mindset and learn from them. Poor people lack financial education. The third thing that poor people do that the rich don't is lacking financial education. They don't know how money works, how to manage it, how to grow it, or how to protect it. They don't understand the concepts of income, expenses, assets, liabilities, cash flow, interest, inflation taxes or risk. They don't have financial plan or financial goal. They don't read books, listen to podcasts, watch videos, or take courses on financial topics. They don't seek advice from experts or mentors. Rich people have financial education. They know how money works, how to manage it, how to grow it, and how to protect it. They understand the concepts of income, expenses, assets, liabilities, cash flow, interest, inflation, taxes, and risk. They have a financial plan and financial goal. They read books, listen to podcasts, watch movies, and take courses on financial topics. They seek advice from experts and mentors. The third step to change this habit is to improve your financial literacy. You need to learn the basics of personal finance, such as budgeting, saving, investing, debt management, retirement planning, and tax optimization. You need to set a specific and realistic financial goal that aligns with your values and vision. 
You need to read books, listen to podcasts, watch videos, and take courses on financial topics that interest you or challenge you. You need to seek advice from experts and mentors who have achieved what you want to achieve. Poor people work for money. The fourth thing that poor people do that the rich don't is working for money. They exchange their time and energy for a fixed amount of money. They depend on a single source of income, usually a job or a business that they own and operate. They are always busy working hard but not smart. They are always trading their most valuable assets, their time, for their least valuable assets, their money. Rich people make money work for them. They leverage their money to create multiple streams of income, usually from passive or semi-passive sources such as investments, Priorities, dividends, or businesses that they own but don't operate. They are always looking for ways to work smart, not hard. They are always trading their least valuable assets, their money, for their most valuable assets, their time. The fourth step to change this habit is to create multiple streams of income. You need to diversify your income sources and reduce your reliance on a single one. You need to invest your money in assets that generate cash flow such as stocks, bonds, real estate or businesses. You need to look for ways to automate or outsource your work processes and systems. You need to value your time more than your money and use it wisely. The fifth thing that poor people do that the rich don't is having a short-term perspective. They focus on the present and the immediate future. They are driven by instant gratification and impulse buying. They are reactive and emotional in their decision making. They don't think about the long-term consequences of their actions or inactions. Rich people have a long-term perspective. They focus on the future and the big picture. They are driven by delayed gratification and strategic planning. They are proactive and rational in their decision making. They think about the long term benefits of their actions or inactions. The fifth step to change this habit is to develop long term vision. You need to have a clear idea of where you want to be in 5, 10, 20 or more years from now. You need to have a compelling reason why you want to achieve your vision. You need to have a plan of action that outlines the steps you need to take to get there. You need to have a system of habits that support your vision and plan. You need to have a mindset of patience, perseverance, and resilience. Poor people blame others for their situation. The seed thing that poor people do that the rich don't is blaming others for their situation. They blame the government, the economy, the society, the system, their parents, their boss, their spouse, their friends, or anyone else but themselves for their situation. They don't take responsibility for their choices and actions. They don't learn from their mistakes and failures. They don't change what they can and accept what they can't. Rich people take responsibility for their situation. They don't blame anyone else but themselves for their situation. They take ownership of their choices and actions. They learn from their mistakes and failures. They change what they can and accept what they can't. The sixth step to change this habit is to stop blaming others and start taking responsibility. You need to realize that you are the only person who can control your life and your destiny. You need to acknowledge that you are the cost of your situation, not the effect. You need to admit your mistakes and failures and learn from them. You need to change what you can and accept what you can't. Poor people hang out with other poor people. The seventh thing poor people do that the rich don't is hanging out with other poor people. They surround themselves with people who have similar or lower levels of income, education, skills, knowledge, mindset, and lifestyle as them. They all seek out people who are smarter, richer, or more successful than them. They don't network with people who can help them grow or achieve their goals. Rich people hang out with other rich people. They surround themselves with people who have similar or higher levels of income, education, skills, knowledge, mindset, and lifestyle as them. They seek out people who are smarter, richer, or more successful than them. They network with people who can help them grow or achieve their goals. The seventh step to change this habit is to upgrade your circle of influence. 
You need to evaluate your current relationships and see if they are helping you or holding you back. You need to limit or cut off contact with negative, toxic or unproductive people. You need to find and connect with positive, supportive and inspiring people. You need to join groups, clubs, communities or events where you can meet like-minded people who share your vision and values. Poor people have low self-esteem. The only thing that poor people do that the rich don't is having low self-esteem. They don't believe in themselves or their abilities. They don't think they are worthy of success or happiness. They don't think they have anything valuable to offer to the world or to others. They don't think they deserve respect or love. Rich people have high self-esteem. They believe in themselves and their abilities. They think they are worthy of success and happiness. They think they have something valuable to offer to the world and to others. They think they deserve respect and love. The eighth step to change this habit is to boost your self-esteem. You need to recognize your strengths and talents and use them to create value for yourself and others. You need to acknowledge your achievements and celebrate your wins. You need to accept your flaws and work on improving them. You need to affirm your worth and value every day. You need to love yourself and treat yourself well. Poor people have fixed mindsets. The ninth thing that poor people do that the rich don't is having a fixed mindset. They think that their intelligence, skills, talents, and personality are fixed and cannot be changed or improved. They think that they are born with certain abilities or limitations and that they cannot overcome them. They think that success is based on luck, talent, or connections, not on efforts, learning, or growth. Rich people have a growth mindset. They think that their intelligence, skills, talents, and personality are malleable and can be changed or improved. They think that they can develop new abilities or overcome old limitations with practice, feedback, and persistence. They think that success is based on efforts, learning and growth not on lack talents or connections the ninth step to change this habit is to adopt a growth mindset you need to embrace challenges and see them as opportunities to learn and grow you need to seek feedback and criticism and use them to improve yourself you need to persist in the face of obstacles and setbacks and see them as part of the process you need to celebrate the efforts and progress of yourself and others not just the outcome poor people don't have a vision the third thing that poor people do that the rich don't is not having a vision. They don't have a clear picture of what they want their life to look like in the future. They don't have a purpose or a mission that drives them forward. They don't have a passion or a hobby that makes them happy. They don't have a dream or a goal that inspires them. Rich people have a vision. They have a clear picture of what they want their life to look like in the future. They have a purpose or a mission that drives them forward. They have a passion or a hobby that makes them happy. They have a dream or a goal that inspires them. The third step to change this habit is to create a vision for your life. You need to imagine your ideal life in every aspect such as health, wealth, relationships, career, hobbies, and spirituality. You need to write down your vision in detail and make it as vivid as possible. You need to review your vision regularly and visualize it in your mind. You need to align your actions with your vision and take steps every day to make it reality. You need to review your vision regularly and visualize it in your mind. You need to align your actions with your vision and take steps every day to make it a reality. So guys, these are the 10 things that poor people do that the rich don't and how you can change them to improve your chances of becoming wealth. By changing these habits, you can change your mindset, lifestyle and financial situation for the better. So what are you waiting for? Start today and make your dreams come true. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.